fun. Craig Morgan, more cars than trucks. I'm Rodeo Rick hanging out with us in the studio here this afternoon. They're going to be performing at the Beacon Club tonight. It's Due West, comprised of Matt, who's actually from uh, Wyoming. Uh, we've got Tim and Brad as well. Uh, i got to ask you guys, uh, being up-and-coming musicians out of Nashville, which do you guys prefer more, writing or performing? Man, that's a tough call. I'll tell you what, uh, shows that, that, especially this past week, being on that stage, there's nothing like it, man. Yeah, it mm -hmm. kind of depends on the crowd, I guess. You know, if it's a if it's a fun, rocking, energetic crowd, and we're and they're giving it back to us as much as we're giving it to them, there's nothing that beats that. Right. Um, and we have a song called Twenty Two Hours a Day." We work twenty two hours a day for two hours of play, and that's true. The hard work of getting to each town, and the hard work of booking the shows, and just trying to get out there and, and be known is tough. But the two hours or an hour, whatever you're on the stage, nothing like it. Yeah, yeah I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't wish the life that you guys have embraced in your dreams. On anybody, because yeah. <laughs> I see it. I see these guys. That you, you're road warriors. You're out on the road, and, and I, I assume you guys all have wives, families. Yeah, we do, but they yeah. don't call us warriors. They don't. <laughs> they should. I don't, I don't, yeah, well, they I don't should. even want to know what they call you. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, we can't say it on the air. You get shut down. <laughs> we kind of do the road and the riding thing in uh, in modes, and mm -hmm. it, depending on the season and things like that. And so we actually have just come off of a, a couple of months during the holiday season of. Of just being home and writing and hanging with the family and uh, it's kind of hard to leave that too you know mm -hmm. because you get to really bond with your family again Matt just uh, his wife just had a baby two months ago and so oh, congratulations Thanks. Yeah. yeah little boy so that's gotta excited. be tough especially with the young yeah I, we were talking about that earlier it's like the younger they are the and the newer they are the harder it is to leave once they start getting you know older it's, it's like okay I'm out of here I'm going back out on the road <laughs> terrible twos yeah <laughs> but you know from the songwriting perspective too there's there's something cool about hearing something you've written come to life whether it be you know on a Due West record or a, a, you know like I mentioned before other acts cutting them you hear them back and there's there's a pretty cool experience that comes along with that as well yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's totally different than the performance thing but it's it's absolutely rewarding and and uh, man I, I think that the cool thing about writing is you know this artist thing one of these days we'll get too old to be those road warriors you, you talk about but you can write till you know till the day you die you can absolutely lay in your deathbed and pen songs and stroke you know strum a guitar so mm -hmm. buddy of ours Dean Dillon if you look that guy up you'd be amazed at the songs he's written <clears throat> and uh, he spends a lot of time out here in the West, but we met him actually this summer down in Colorado. He's got to be pushing 75. Se probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, he's mm -hmm. he's getting closer to 70. Is he? But he's written a bunch of George Strait songs and stuff. And man, he's just still got that thing. We sat in the room with him and wrote recently, and all three of us were just like the whole time we're just mesmerized by it. here we are sitting with this legendary songwriter who's penned so many amazing songs that people would recognize, and he's just still doing it and still getting cuts on Young Axe and doing his thing so well a good song is a good song that's, that's right absolutely uh, so so that being said who is the coolest person you've performed with or would you say written with definitely written with it would be Dean Dillon yeah, and we got sure. to do it the three of us together sometimes we write separately with just a couple of people but uh, the three of us got to sit with Dean Dillon so that was hands down my favorite experience ever as far as uh, who we opened for uh, or who we've played with? Yeah, either was, performed on stage or, or opened for recently. I would definitely have to say just about two nights ago we opened for Sawyer Brown. That was we've cool. been fans of theirs forever. Yeah. Funny thing is, is, like Brad said, we met and all three of us had different backgrounds, but we had the same heroes. And Sawyer Brown was on that list of heroes. Right on. And right. just from a music standpoint, but man, that guy, if you ever see Sawyer Mark Brown, Mark Miller, yeah. all over the place. And he still is. Yeah, we yeah. wondered if he was good, because I hadn't no. seen him for years. And sure enough, he comes out there and he's just... I saw him back two years ago. Real yeah. Did you? yeah, he's, Calm, he's crazy. Yeah, on stage, he's hyper. <laughs> you know, and, actually, and he doesn't do drugs. He doesn't. No, do drugs. you would think he's, he'd be all on yes, coke yeah. or something. But can you say coke on the Coca Cola? Yeah, Coca Cola. Coca -Cola yeah, no, but uh, real quick side story about the name Due West. You might wonder where that name comes from. There's a street. <coughs> there's a street in Nashville called Due West Avenue, okay. Due West Boulevard, or Avenue. something yeah, Avenue. Sawyer Brown named their band after a street in Nashville and Bellevue called Sawyer Brown Road. And so that was actually one of the reasons that we came up with that, that name on. is because we wanted to kind of pay a little tribute to our favorite, one of our favorite bands. We, we do, by the way, get to open for some of the newer acts as well. And, we, you know, we've mm -hmm. opened for Taylor Swift and Lady Anna Bellum and things like that. But mm -hmm. we just, our, our heroes are a little bit older, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, it's so cool to open for guys like that. You know? Especially when they become like fans. Yeah. Yeah, if you're absolutely. not sure what you're going to see tonight, one, on that note, we did a show about a month or two ago. We did a Jake Owen and Florida Georgia Line. It was us and then Florida Georgia uh -huh. and then Jake Owen. And Florida Georgia Line's hit had just 
kind of done Cruise. its thing, and Cruise they were yeah. Started, yeah. So there was a ton of young teenage girls there, obviously to see them and Jake Owen, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were a little nervous, you know, because it's a, you know a lot younger crowd, all these girls. Man, we went out there, and that's one of the shows that I, I think about when I think about the reward of a, an energetic crowd that's yes. just giving it back to you. Those girls, you know. We're having a good time. They didn't know we didn't have any hits. You still we don't have a hit yet, but they knew mm -hmm. that they by the time that we got to the end of the songs, they knew the words to the choruses yeah. and were singing along. And it was fun. We walked off that stage and said, you know what? If we can entertain Jake Owen and Florida Georgia Lines crowd and fans, we're, we'll be okay. We just got to get a hit. We just got to get a hit record. <laughs> That's we'll it. Right <laughs> just just need somebody to kick open that door for you. That's and, right. Uh, you, you speak of hits. The, I think the closest you guys have come is uh, with your song "Things You Can't Do in a Car." That's correct. What a great title for a song. That's this boy uh, Brad right here. Did you write that, Brad? I did. Yeah. Tell us tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this, and then we'll uh, we'll play it for folks to hear. Well, I was uh, driving around in my Honda Accord one evening. <laughs> <laughs> I know this where this is going. Yeah. And I was thinking back to the days when I when I had a pickup up and I just missed those things, you know, all those things that you can do in a car. And uh, the next morning I got up and started writing that song. And uh, so I thought the song was about a pickup. Actually, this last week I've, I've discovered that it's uh, it's a little bit about driving in a van, too. Because that's what we were doing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, the title just came, it, it sort of put the song together instantly by itself. And uh, here it is. We're, we're hanging out with Due West in the studio. They're going to be performing tonight at the Beacon Club at 7.30. Come on out and enjoy, and enjoy a great concert. I Trust me, this is going to be a great show tonight. $15 at the door. Show's open for all ages. Here is Due West and things you can't do in a car on My Country, 95.5.